Hello everyone, Ming Laba. Today I'll be going over how I play Krifan Labu 132 hole in Gachim Kolo in the key of G. So the intro that I just played was, uh, I'll break it down. It's very simple. I start with the chords G, or sorry, the chords D and G. I go. Those are the very first notes, okay? It goes D right here, D, D on the left. A, D, F sharp, G. G, G, B, D, G. And then my right hand, I move these two right here. I just move them up one note each, one key each. All right? And then on the left, I go down, I move down. Okay, from G, F sharp to E, I go. Okay, the next, uh, the next few notes that I play, I do. All right, and then on my left, I go to C, on my right, I go to E, both octave, and then I go to G on the right hand, so it's D, G, B. Uh, yeah, D, G, B, D, and on my left, D. One more time, if I'm gonna play it real time, all right. At the end, if you want it, you could have gone to. On the left hand to F sharp. And you could end like that, okay? So the beginning of the verse and the end of the verse are the same as the beginning of the intro and the end of the intro. I'll show you what I mean. So in the beginning of the verse, you go D, G, right? Say, <clears throat> right? Same as the, uh, same as the intro. G, Right? Stay at G. Na, na, da, na, ka. A minor. A E A C E. A hua D D D. A D F sharp. Sun. All right. One more time. That goes. Z Z su ke ma ka do ta. Okay, and uh, if you want, you could could have done A major here. Some people do A, ma a, a major. Uh, for my purposes, I'll do A minor. D, right? And then So that part goes to G. time okay that was G when I was when I'm on my right hand what I'm doing my left hand is going down okay it goes Okay, and then the ending is the same as the intro, right here. Okay, one more time. Okay, I'll play the verse uh, through one more time uh, in real time.
okay? If we want it to be a little bit more technical, uh, what I did there was at the end, that's G over D. So G is the one chord and D is the five chord, but um, on my left, if I, if I hold D major, or D right here, D octave, and I play G on my right, that's G over D, okay? At the beginning of the chorus, if you wanted to walk up from G to C, you could do it. It makes it sound a little bit more interesting. So instead of just going Boise Sudotna Avelka, you could do Boise Sudotna Avelka, right? What I did there was on my left, I went up from G, A, B to C. On my right, I went from B, C, D to E, okay? Boise. Right there, just like in the verse, how we have a passing note in A minor, we have it again in the chorus. Same thing, if they wanted to do A major, you could do it. There's some people who do A major, but for, for our purposes, we're doing A minor. Now, if you remember, that's the same sort of line, uh, same phrase of music as the beginning, as the intro, and as at, towards the end of the verse. Um, so it's very, very simple. So I'll play the song again from the intro to the chorus. You can try and follow along. And also I'll be adding little tricks in there. I'll be adding some embellishments in there. If you want, you can try those out yourselves, but play it the way it sounds good to you. So, yep, here goes. I hope you found this video helpful. This is how I play it at church. And if I was low fast, you can go back, rewind, rewatch. Um, also, please leave a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe, because if God wills it, I have plans to make more videos like this in the hopes that it could help someone. It could help someone who's trying to play the piano, the keyboard. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.